And new studies suggest COVID-19 can spread through the air like an aerosol and has mutated to become even more infectious. Although the mutation is not more severe than the original, it could mean the ongoing vaccine development has to go back to square one. Yi Kyung-un reports. Some new information about COVID-19 suggests it could be harder to stop than previously thought. First is that airborne transmission of the coronavirus is possible. According to New York Times, some 239 experts from 32 countries sent an open letter to the World Health Organization saying that tiny particles smaller than droplets may linger in the air for hours, infecting people even in socially distant settings. That's contrary to what the WHO has long insisted, that the primary mode of transmission is large respiratory droplets that fall quickly to the ground. Even in its latest update in June, the agency said airborne transmission is only possible in particular circumstances, like during medical procedures that produce aerosols. With the finding, the scientists urged the agency to revise its recommendations. Other studies have found that the virus has mutated, making it more infectious than before. According to Reuters, the WHO has analyzed the genetic sequences of some 60,000 samples of the coronavirus, 30 percent of which had mutated but were no more severe. This is in line with a previous study published in the journal Cell, in which a team of global scientists confirmed a new strain of the coronavirus named G614, which spreads three to nine times faster than the previous D614. It added the new strain has almost completely taken over in Europe and the United States. The findings, the scientists say, suggest that the new version may be less pathogenic but could make the vaccine candidates ineffective as they've been developed based on a previous strain which originated from Wuhan, China. Lee Kyung-un, Arirang News.